Hello, this is Palico Padge, and welcome back to another episode of the Curious Expedition 2 Alpha 8. It's all to do with dinosaurs and prehistoric stuff, and giant wasps and snakes, supposedly, although we haven't come across any of those. We have come across very, very small dinosaurs, though. Tiny, tiny raptors. We had to let our first one go, which is a little bit sad, but he just doesn't fit in with the dynamic of the group, which is working out pretty well for us right now. Other than two of the people hating each other as well as simultaneously loving each other i don't get it but hey love's a complicated thing we're doing all right and we are now up to act two placeholder so this is something which will be improved in a later iteration of the game however it does have quite a few tickets to go and do and it will lead us on to our next year 1888 so we might as well jolly on Obviously, we're going to be using Natashi Academy because we're concentrating on just the one at the moment. It was my last night in Paris, and I decided to celebrate over drinks. That evening, I was surprised to be approached by Percy Fawcett. Ah, oh, bastard. Hate the guy. Bastard. I had heard tales of his exploits in the British Army, and he seemed to have a bright future as an explorer. Yeah, but he likes setting traps on me when I'm going to search through ships. I don't like the guy. I don't like him. Look, he hasn't even got a, a brim on his cap. That's how dodgy he is. He, he doesn't even have a brim on his cap. Look at my brim. I've got a I've got a multicolored feather. What do you have, Percy? What do you have? Exactly. He revealed that he had managed to fin finagle an assignment to survey the Curious Islands. He would not tolerate any mistreatment of the locals. But if I could agree to that, he could pull our resources. Oh, we could pull our resources together to visit the islands together. You know what? No. Off you go, Percy. Off you toddle. Enjoy your brimless hat. Though the offer was tempting, I was not interested in travelling with this strange, temperamental, trap-making man. Percy Fawcett would have to find his own way. Get your own ship, Percy. Not that I'm bitter. Bastard. Anyway. Combat tips. Strength increases damage for one round. Good to note. Good to note. There we go. Just some silence there for you a bit. Didn't know what to say. Didn't know what to say. I pulled close to the island, meeting up with my supply vessel. I was cooling down. I had a little rant at the start of the episode. I was just having a little bit of time to myself. That was all. I was grateful to the Taiji Academy for providing me with funds and equipment. So, what to do? What to do? I mean... We've got whiskey. Uh, we've got a little bit of money. Uh, da, 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 da. Yes. It would appear... You can blame me for this. One of the things which has always niggled at me when it came to playing this game is how you get more sanity with whiskey, yet it was the same price as chocolate. Now, obviously, in this iteration of the game, you can't choose between chocolate or whiskey. I've never come across the opportunity to be able to pick from both. However, I did say that I think, in the grand scheme of things, whiskey could do with being either a little bit more expensive or chocolate could be doing with being a little bit cheaper. I think I iterated to the fact that chocolate should be a little bit cheaper, around the sort of seven, eight gold mark. It would appear that they've made whiskey more expensive, which ultimately is probably a bad thing but hey you can blame me for that you're welcome you're welcome <laughs> so i'm gonna take some whiskey um i mean i don't use the flare enough do i that's something i'm gonna have to start doing that's something i'm gonna have to start doing um uh, what do we have firecrackers small explosives sounds like fun probably not so much uh custom flare we don't need i mean i need i need torches I need torches, I need medicine. So, two of those and just the one torch. Ooh. Ooh. I mean, can if I give you an egg. Uh, yeah, if I give you an egg. Um, and bait? I don't think I want to keep hold of the bait. You can have the bait as well. I'll take... Do I take the egg back? Let's buy some more medikits and torches. 19. Maybe a shovel. Is that alright? I mean, I could buy some elixirs. Do I have enough whiskey? 
Do I have enough whiskey? I don't think I have enough whiskey. Uh, let's give that back. That's better. Two, five, eight, seven there. Eight, so there's no point. Yeah, that's fine. That'll do. That'll do. Thinking too much. My equipment chosen, I considered if there was yet more to be done before I landed on the island. Well, we'll take the water. Cool. And, uh, well, begin the expedition, I suppose. Something about the strange geology of this island had picked the Taishi's Academy's interest. I was to take measurements and get the lay of the land for their scientists to study back home. Alrighty, so. We're off for a pick-in. I mean, we've got two islands to search. And it's pretty well spanned out, that's for sure. Um, let's let's have a quick look down here. Is that going to be... Hmm, that looks to me like it's going to be a ferry port, so I'm not too fussed by that. Let's go and take the first reading over here, because it's over here. We're going to get tarred up. You know what? It doesn't matter at this point. We're, we're so close to the ship, it doesn't matter. Aha! The egg I found started to tremble and crack. Something inside wanted to get out. Oh! A baby parasolophus. Hmm. What she said. We'll take it. So, we got natives, we've got measurements. Let's, let's do the natives first. Who were these people? They reminded me of salamanders. Yet they walked upright like we humans do, and I could see wisdom in their eyes. Incredible. Right, we better uh, ask up the tribe. I wanted to know more about the culture of these people. Delicately, I inquired about the nature of their traditions and customs. They said some things. They believed that all objects had a spirit, or things an agency. Their shamans grew wise by communicating with these spirits. You mean they get off their tits on, on alcohol and, and drugs? I dig it. I did not want to strain their hospitality further. The natives bid us farewell, and soon we were alone in the wilderness once more. Right, so, uh, ready for promotion. So let us promote you, Captain Newton, to General Newton. No, maybe not. Even so, look at those locked-in die. Super duper. All right. I mean, I could just go down south at this point. We can cross here. Let's go check out over there first. Covered in tar, I tell you. Oh, there's a port there as well. I'm not too fussed on that. Let's get up on this hill and just check southwards a little. See if there's anything of interest. Uh, there be not. There be not. I mean, at this point, I might as well head over to this question mark. Man-eating plants! And then we'll go back to the ship. Oh, it's a village. Hmm. All right. The village was nearly empty as I entered it. A lone salamander greeted me, explaining that almost everyone was gone to watch the yearly turtle migration. Ah. Uh, okay. Well, let's uh, let's see what they got. A salamander from the village carried over a heavy bag, revealing the village's trade goods. Ooh, we got some new stuff here. So we have the raptor feather coat, a coat prepped from the magnificent and beautiful feathers of the rare raptor. The colours are alarming, but you feel empowered. Okay. Or we have a native shield, a shield made of tough cowhide stretched over a wooden frame. That's pretty cool. I mean, what does it do? Shield bash for stun or defend, which is just shield. Mm, not that cool. Not that cool. Uh, we have a cell on animal scent. Don't worry about that. And red berries. Worth five. Worth five. I mean, I'm not a big fan of the muzzle. I mean, it's got a less aggro chance, but... 
Hmm. How much do you want for your llama? Oh, okay. I'll tell you what. You have the muzzle. We'll have the llama and as many berries as you can muster. That'll do. I think I'm happy with that. I think I'm happy with that. Uh, yeah, we can't cook the fish. I don't think you can cook the fish. Yeah, no, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, is that fine? That's fine. All good. I reached a deal with the natives. Right, so uh, let us leave. I told the crew to pack and headed out as new adventures were waiting. The natives quickly resumed their business as I left. Awesome. They all come out to see us goodbye. So, back to the ship. To which point, uh, we'll just get onto the ship. And uh, do I want to drop anything off? I mean, at this point, well, we're going to drop off the llama. That's for sure. Do, do I want to see how big that dinosaur gets and if it's any better than the donkey? Because the donkey is the only one which is viable to be swapped for something else. I think it's fair to say we're not going to win with the Taishi Academy when it comes to the uh, the weekly mission that you do for the Academy. So I think we'll keep the dinosaur. We'll keep the dinosaur and see what he turns into. So let us rest. That evening, Captain Newton Catley challenged me to complete a series of difficult calisthenic exercises. If successful, I would surely gain his respect. But would I really prevail? Uh, 150, 100... 33. You know what? It's as close as damn it. Boom. Have at you, Captain Newton Catley. My muscles were burning, but I was proud of my success. Captain Newton Catley patted me on the back. Sometimes might did make right. Increase loyalty. And even the donkey was impressed. Oh, it's got for us. So we're resting. We're resting, we're resting. Uh, we're going to rest once more. I spent the night on deck in a hammock. I could hear the waves gently washing up against the hull, the quiet cranking of machines below deck, the whispers of the crew. A peaceful night. That in itself is something to put into the diary. So hopefully, we're going to get at least close to full sanity. Yeah, it's close enough. Alrighty, so back to the expedition. Uh, we are now going to go... I mean, 22 to there, or 21 to there. 25 to there. We're going to take a little bit of damage. It's going to be five damage, and it's going to bring us into the top of the next island. Oh, who are you? Beast Shaman. Uh, oh, okay. You know what? I'm I'm not going to take the hit. I don't think. Did I not do the reading? I didn't do the reading, did I? I got so excited, I completely forgot to do the reading. Good thing I clocked that. Take the measurements. Setting up my Theodolite and other tools, I managed to capture crucial measurements for the Taishi Academy. Only two sides remained until my work here was done. Nice. So off to the ferry. I mean, I think we've got a few things we can trade. A sea turtle let out a strange croaking noise as I approached the strange structure. The ferrymaster laughed hoarsely and asked where I'd like to go. Well, I have no idea. Uh, west of the rocky island, I guess. I'd like to go and see that beast shaman. The ferrymaster gave a wet chortle in the back of their throat and began gleefully to negotiate for passage. Uh, it doesn't seem too expensive. I mean, you want some water? Why do they never want water? I suppose we are by the sea. Um, how about 
How about a shovel? Doesn't like shovels. How about a torch? Eh. How about a first aid kit? And some red berries. He likes that. That's cool. Go, turtle. Where are you taking us? Right down the bottom. That's fine. That's fine. I can I can dig that. All uh, right. So let's let's crack on. Do I want to have a look at the trader, or should I wait? Should I, no, I'll get him on the way back down. I'm gonna have to come back down anyway to get the other reading. It actually is on on our side, so that's good. Uh, da -da -da -da. Twenty-nine to eighteen. We'll just we'll, we'll stay to the ground at this point. Right. Uh, now we'll get up on the hill. So fifteen to eighteen. Oh, well, well, we'll go up to the eighteen mark. Shaman. All right. Let me see your wares, kind shaman. We approached a dark and crumbling hurt. A native shaman beckoned us inside, surrounded by an assortment of occult accoutrements. Yeah. Okay. Rather skittishly, the shaman got out a small crate and presented their wares. What you got? A sail on introspection mushrooms. Although no one's actually got anything wrong with them right now anyway. I don't think there's anything here. Why don't it sway all of one's problems seem to be gone? I don't think there's a way to cure hatred. It's not an ailment, and that's what mushrooms tend to cure. So, uh, no. That's all right. Good to meet you. I'm pretty sure the, sh the shaman changed colour. Pretty sure of it. Right, so uh, let's go and take on the giant scorpion. Times two. Or is that a two? No, that means it's it's twice as hard as 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 it should be, I guess. This is a new uh, addition to Alpha 8. So it gives you a, a, a number next to a school to give you a rough idea on how hard it is. I mean, how hard was the mole rat? We, we never knew, did we? So... This might be easier, this might be harder, we don't know. Let's stick to the wall, just in case. I mean, the bee shame is a six. That's pretty gnarly. I'll tell you what, let's take, let's take down the giant scorpion and we'll take it from there. Boom. I mean, it's got 85 health. That's, that's, pretty, that's pretty high. Uh, it's going to stinger us. He's going to sting us. Right. Roll. 76. Let's throw out the come and get it. Let's not. Do you stack? You do. Right. Okay. So, so come and get it. Then we'll throw out the fisty cuffs with the donkey kick for 28. Uh, oh, missed that. We should have done the tally ho first. Uh, let's do a tally ho with one of those because. Oh, you smell. Smelly scorpion. Seven. So that puts on. Doubles it up. Nice. Okay. So that's uh, 24. And then we should be able to finish him off with a quick shot. Pop. We deprive the remains of anything useful. Oh. Trauma care. What be that? Uh, we have a scorpion sting and some shells. So we'll take all that. Uh, trauma care. Heals party slightly after combat. Oh, cool. Awesome. I mean, everyone's, everyone's happy, right? Everyone's good. I think everyone's happy. Why are these greyed out? Hmm. No one's injured. That's fine. Uh, let's uh, let's crack on. 
I mean, that was fairly simple. And that was a, a two school, six school. It is a step up. It is a step up. We arrived at a majestic stone structure. I could hear the roar of turbulent waters if a great li river lay beneath my feet. Awesome along those lines. Inside was a small empty chamber, a long hallway leading to the main altar. I would have to be careful of traps here. Uh, you know what? This is what we brought the torches in for. So uh, let's search for secrets with a torch. Just to play it safe. We got it. We got it. Better loot. Wonder what it is this time. As I ran my hand over the rough surface of a wall, a string of arcane runes flared to life, seeming to carve themselves into the stone before my very eyes. Well, let's have a look. I studied the writing, my mind becoming strangely focused. I found myself speaking words I had never heard before, chanting their strange song against my will. I lost consciousness briefly. When I came to, an inner glow suffused my being. Right, so our tank has regeneration. That'll work. I considered the main cham chamber once more. I stood before an altar carved with pictographs of waves and drowning men, the sound of water rushing in my ears. Well, let's have a look. <gasps> it's another egg. Take it all. We took the treasure and fled outside as enormous spouts of water burst through the walls and began to flood the surrounding area. Ozy nosy. Is it chasing us or is it just going to flood outwards? Let's find out. We'll go to there, but I'll get ready to press stop. The egg I had found started to tremble and crack. Something inside wanted to get out. Oh! Oh, it's another Paras... Sorolophus. What she said. Right. So we have springs. I fear it is not a good thing to hang about here. Uh, let's let's drink a whiskey. Let's drink two whiskeys. Noel's gone crazy. And uh, let's let's eat three of those. Fifty nine. That's good. And get up on the bloody hill. Right, so. Let's have a go at the shaman. Are we about to get cut off? You can hear that thunder? That's not good. We might get cut off here. We have to be careful. Uh, we, we don't need the springs right now. Let's attack the beast shaman first. Righty, so. Uh, so, he has three hyenas of... Fairly weak stature. Uh, enraging spirit, target ally, and cudgel. So if we can take down the hyenas this time around, that's going to give us our best chance. So let us roll. Okay. So. So, 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 so. Uh, we're going to throw up the retaliation. I'm not going to buff it, though. Right, so uh, we need to select a, an enemy for this for vulnerability. I'm gonna, I'm going to choose. I mean, what are you gonna do to us? Slash. Are you all gonna do slash? I presume so. Uh, right, we're gonna choose vulnerability on a full health hyena, and then we're gonna go in for fisticuffs. So. Damage of 28. Don't know if I want to ri risk it then. So 13, so that'd be close to 20 on that. Damage of 14. So let's use that on you. 7 and 3. So take you down with a slash. You down with a slash. That leaves 30. Let's re-roll. Oh, nice. 8, 20, and 11. So, we'll throw you up. And you. And for your efforts, 
You have an intense hack. Beast shaman. Uh, let's go. What you got for me? That's it. Don't take it lying down. Don't take it lying down. So down to 73. We should be all right. Cool. So if we do cracking wallop. 37 and a stun. Hopefully. No. Uh, let's feather shield up. So he's going to get another hit in. And then we'll just go slashy slash. I mean, at this point, might it worth just be... Yeah, we're going to re-roll. We're going to re-roll. So let's throw these in. They're all rubbish. Well, that was worth it. So incapacitating slice. Intense attack. <coughs> Excuse me. 25. I don't think we're going to quite get there. Just short. That's all right. That's all right. Pop. And uh, at this point, it's really matter. We might as well just go for as big an overkill as we can do. So, you, you, and you. Pop. We deploy the dead of anything useful. So, <clears throat> that was not bad at all. That was not bad at all. Oh, he has a lot. What be you? Let's go some beast worn by the corrupted beast shaman. We'll take it all. I'm probably going to have to drop something. Oh, no, we're okay. Do I want to rest up? Do I want to rest up? Yes, I do. Let's rest up. Our trek ceased at natural hot water springs. The water had a strong colouring, although I had heard of the healing properties of such. We decided it would be a good idea to stay here and I told the people to rest. The mood was buoyant as I ordered wood to be gathered for a fire. Lovely. A starry night. I was in a very calm mood and felt good. I was just wondering where Bernard Harjay and Derek Yeo are. I hadn't seen them in a while. There, there they were. They came out of the bushes and were giggling. Bernard Hargier had leaves in his hair and was following the fast steps of Derek Eo, saying they want to go to bed right away. Huh. Huh, indeed. You're supposed to hate each other. We also get a little bit of healing, which is awesome. Everyone enjoying the sojourn. Delicate steam laced the waters we prepared to leave. Bathing in the hot springs had astoundingly healed our wounds. Cool. I'm going to rest once more. I'm going to rest once more. I noticed Derek Yeo walking around the campsite being a little unsettled. He looked frightened. When I approached him, he turned his head around in fear, looking at me. He said that something is walking around our camp, hiding in the shadows, waiting to attack us. Normally, Derek Yeo is a really reliable companion, so I thought about his request to throw out all the warm meat we were, warm meat we were carrying with us. Was it worth the risk to keep it? No, I'm going to keep the meat. Ah, oh, Darn those hyenas. All right. Ambush. Target two random enemies. We can do that. I'm not going to risk it. That, uh, mess with anything else. Not, not even worth talking over this, is it? Let's just get them killed. I mean, if anything, this means we're going to have more. More meat. Which is awesome. There we go. Don't mess with the best. Because the best generally don't mess. We killed the beast that was hiding in the bushes. More stuff. It was close, but we made it. I should have listened to Derek Yeo. After cleaning up, we closed our eyes and fell into a restless sleep. So we're probably going to have to play around a little bit of our inventory. If we get to about full. Yeah, that's close enough. All right, so let's leave. So we haven't been cut off by the water, which is awesome. Um, let us eat the berries. That puts us at full health. Or full sanity, should I say. We're at full health anyway. And I think at this point we shall leave... 
the episode here. Uh, the the way forward is very apparent. We're going downwards. And, uh, well, on to the next. So thank you for watching. As always, a like is appreciated. And I shall catch you on the next one. Take it easy.